Why is your bike so loud but so slow? Howdy. We are going on a dad venture. I don't know where. While we have the Pacific Coasts, we are going to use them. And it's also because I cannot find the key to my sports store right now. Uh, oh, did you think maybe Pacific Coast? Yeah. Have you tried to start it yet? No. <laughs> Does it not work? It just needs the choke on. That's no, it. no, 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 no. That, it just Does needs, it? It just needs the choke. That's oh. the, that sounds like a choke <laughs> problem. Well, you can still take it. Hey, let's do this. Let's take it. And since we're going to the shop later, I'll jump it here. We'll jump it at Social House, and then I'll put the battery it on the battery charger at the shop. We have a battery charger here. That's we? true. Do you, are, do you that. really not know where your sports are used? Yeah, I genuinely have no idea where the sports are used. I don't want to be Darth Vader. Darth Vader's a big sissy crybaby. I want to be Darth Maul. Well, this is black and red, so Darth Maul was black. I like Darth Maul. Darth he's Maul. isolated, he likes magic, and he's got family problems. Wow. But not like big crybaby family problems like Anakin. This bike ain't sounding much better than mine. At least it starts. It starts. We're here with Dr. Dad Mike. I thought we were going on a dad venture, but my Pacific Coast does not start. And I could not find the key to Willem Dafoe's The Green Goblin. So I am on Barf Vader. Josh took the Honda VMAX and Dr. Dad is on his Harley. This bike needs some hell. Then again, so did Anakin. So what do you want? Your turn signal's on. Dummy. I miss the Ford Ranger. Having a nice car, having a nice bike. I wonder what that's like. I don't know. Ask Kimberly. We're back to riding pieces of garbage now. We are bold and brash and belong in the trash. We're headed up to Social House, which is somewhere we haven't gone in quite a long time. It was a frequent stop on the Shay Lisi and Shay Tree Surgeon channel when I first started making videos. So it's time for a blast from the past. I really don't feel like that Jeep Liberty is a transformer. How are you parking? It's closed. Wait, no, it's not closed. Uh, now we can play Sonic All-Stars. Oh my God, Sonic All-Stars basketball. The wait is finally over. Oh, finally! It's everything I've always wanted! We got fried cheese, fried bananas. Yeah, fried idiot. Fried fries. <laughs> fried brains. Getting there. <laughs> We're almost at 400 degrees. We have another couple beers. This is what your brain looks like on Shade Tree Surgeon. <laughs> you know, I decided I'm gonna stop smoking weed for good. I'm smoke weed for evil now. A wild Marin appears. I'll see you later. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys there in a little, just a bit. Alrighty, here I go again on my own. I don't know why this PC800 is so much quieter than mine. Generally, I really don't like to drive PC800s by myself because it is so heavy and awkwardly shaped for someone of my stature that I worry that if I drop it, and I usually do, that I won't have someone here to help me pick it up. I never want to rely on the kindness of strangers, but since I have got my Harley Davidson boots on, I am a little bit taller, and that's been helping me not drop the bikes as often. And also going on a road trip on the PC800 definitely made my experience with the bike a lot better. I actually haven't dropped it since before my road trip. I think the last time I dropped it was at a stoplight in front of the old ride factory. I know that whoever wins this motorcycle is gonna be so happy with it and it's gonna live a long life with that person and go on so many different adventures. I'm so excited somebody's gonna win this bike. It's already raised to over $20,000, the most expensive PC800 to date. At least that I know of. This thing definitely needs a safety inspection. That's for sure. The Barf Vader does feel a little bit different than the Milk Toast Pacific Coast. And I think it might just be the top box that it has on the back. Makes the weight 
just a little bit different than I'm used to. But I think that's just how motorcycles work is you've driven a, the same motorcycle for so long and then you change one thing about it, feels like a brand new bike. I feel that way every time I put air in my tires, which apparently you're supposed to do often. Oh my goodness, I feel bad riding this PC800. It's like when you bring one of your dogs out and not both. My sunflowers are doing so well, it's time to water them. Oh, the fur on his back. <laughs> fing idiot. You fing idiot. You dummy. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> we are here, cowboyed up. This guy's an airplane right now. That slowly. Slow, yeah, so slow over my house right now. It's wild. You like crash one in the ground, I really get hurt. You're taking the PC-800? I'm taking no, mine. I'm taking, Are, I'm taking this PC-800. Yes. Oh right, my battery's dead. I, why do I keep doing that? I get so excited. I love my bike though, and I want to take my cup holder. What if I put the coffee in the trunk? That couldn't go wrong at all. No, I can't do that. All right, so we're dressed up and we are going to the Creator Clash. I have been a huge fan of iDubs since YouTube started. He's been doing YouTube as long as Josh, but I am a fan of him longer than I've been a fan of Josh, sorry. <laughs> no, I get it. Dude, that's where I get the bad unboxings from. Dude, the bad unboxings, content cop, man. Just oh, so good. A Kickstarter crap was one of the best ones out, man. So I'm gonna go watch him beat the crap out of, who is it, Dr. Dad, Dr. Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mike, I think it is. Yeah. I think it's Dr. Mike. He's fighting. YouTuber. We're literally just there's a CI bunch dubs. of there's yeah. a bunch of other YouTubers. Yeah. The a guy from H3's team is there. Epic Meal Time. Oh, dude, I'm down to see Epic Meal Time. Oh, goodbye, coffee. I'm sad to leave you. I guess I couldn't bring you into a venue anyways, but I will miss you. I might drop this shit. I'm totally gonna drop this shit. <sighs> Pray for me, y'all. I don't have my big boots on, so I'm feeling a little wobbly. I weeble and a wobble, but hopefully I don't fall down. Oh, I don't have any ears, hmm. If I fall, I'll yell, okay? Yo. Just like old times. Whew. This is my first time hearing the VMAX on the highway. It sounds really nice, so I guess I see the appeal. I guess. I guess I hear the appeal, I should say. I hate riding on this uneven road like that when they're doing construction. I'm staying behind Josh for now. Due to the pandemic, I haven't been able to go see a lot of shows. And I'm so excited to go be on the floor at the Creator Clash. The amount of dopamine I'm feeling right now, knowing I'm gonna go watch Skinny Little Adubs shirtless and in boxing gloves. Woo! Wait, I am excited. Just Florida things. We weeble and we wobble, but we don't fall down. Josh, would that technically be a two into one exhaust? That's a two into two. It's got one on both sides. It sounds good on the highway. Yeah, yeah, when it's, I mean, it's like barely running right now, but it's not nice. Me too. Oh my goodness, I haven't been to USF since I dropped out. Me and the PC800 in a line is not a good combination. This is weird, I go to school here. Never been here for an event. And away we go. I know how to be chaotic. I just need the okay to do it. I can't wait till one day when we have our big boxing match for charity. Why is your bike so loud but so slow? It's not slow. 
I left you in my dust. <laughs> Jesus Christ, give me a f***ing heart attack. Idiot. I didn't, that wasn't a race. Did you see that f***ing dank ass wheeling? Dude, it looked like you were about to die. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Behind me are the sunflowers that I grew. I definitely grouped some of them a little bit too close together, but you know. They're growing, so. I also have one that's just growing here under my bird feeder from the sunflowers that I feed them. That's kind of funny and it just really goes to show you how resilient sunflowers are. They will grow anywhere. The freaking squirrels are out here digging up my plants. Jerks. Just a reminder that we are ending the raffle for the BC800 on May 22nd. Get your raffle tickets while you still can. They're only $25 and all of the money goes to rude birds. All the money goes to Forgotten Angels. The link to the raffle will be available in the description down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring ling that ding, do all the things. I'll see you here on Sunday. Bye. This is what your brain looks like on Shade Tree Surgeon. <laughs>